to all hello my voice is clear so once again you all are welcome in my channel today we are going to you know do a uh, one very important topic we have we we do we demonstrate you know some practical how what is this carbon uh, footprint and uh, you know carbon footprint is basically the carbon footprint is basically you know the carbon emitted by a particular uh, it relates with the uh, greenhouse effect gases and uh, there is a misconception you know several time people thought that it is only with you know carbon dioxide that uh, emitted by the uh, or released by the human being or some activities that is that is you know calculated as a carbon footprint and but exactly the carbon footprint is you know the the total uh, it is not only deals with the carbon dioxide but all the gases that uh, affects you know the greenhouse effect so in this uh, basically this is also a one of the very hot area of research where you know the the researcher can do some data analysis or some machine learning task in this particular frame uh, particularly to you know calculate the carbon footprint of a particular zone and this is not only the only what i would like to discuss today but also tell you you know how to calculate your own carbon footprint and how you can you know minimize it because in a near future as everybody knows the greenhouse effect is going on increases because of the carbon content not only the carbon content but also the several gases which affect the uh, greenhouse effect so uh, but if we know how much we alone contributed in increasing in this carbon uh, footprint or increase in this uh you know greenhouse effect so definitely we will be more conscious in the future so today i will show you one very 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 important demonstration where you can easily calculate how much you know carbon you released in a month or a day or a year or whether and how we can you know uh, reduce it to so that we have to save the uh, earth and to reduce the pollution so let us begin this uh, this this video will be going to be a very uh, very interesting i hope you all like it and this is a question basically asked by one of my students can you know measure the carbon footprint that uh, you know uh, in uh, that uh, give me a uh, push to make this video to for to share this knowledge with all of you so without wasting time let us start this so what uh, what you have to do in a, on a on a google if you write a uh, you know how to calculate the carbon uh, footprint you will come across a very important website that is carbon calculator and that is free of uh, free of cost to use here what you have to use you have to first of all you know choose your language so and after that you have to choose your country so here i am in india so i'll choose india right and uh, from which date to which date you want to you know calculate the carbon footprint or uh, means the carbon emission by you individually by you so let let me you know take up one month completely from the 7th of september today is from the 7th of november uh, of september to 7 of october till the today's date so you have to just select them and save it and then see there are they uh, as i explained you earlier it is not only you that you know uh, is responsible for carbon uh, basically uh, for carbon footprint there are several you know uh, secondary factors also which affects the this uh, carbon footprint so the very first thing is your house so let me click it house and here you have to give certain data according to you first of all you have to select how many you know people are in your household 
like i am taking my own example we are you know seven persons living in a home so i selected it seven and uh, electricity for a month and this is a, a factor uh, that is used in you know in kilowatt hours how much electricity we consume uh, we nearly consume 600 you know 600 kilowatt hours in a month so i i just put the data 600 kilowatt hours and natural gas we we are not using it if heating oil we are not using it coal we are not using it lpg yes lpg we are basically we consumed almost two cylinder in a you know in a month so there it means and one cylinder is approximately 14 kg or 14 liter so i am writing here 28 liter you know because 28 liter is the the for the two cylinder it is 28 liter we consumed in you know in one month so if i click on calculate then this will gives us 0.07 metric tons of co2 we from my house is you know uh, released now flights the second concept is flight flight also it also you know since it is directly or indirectly associated with you this is also a secondary factor so uh, how many return trip or one way trip you did it in the last month so let me let me and you have to write the from where which station to you which airport to which city you move so let us suppose i move from delhi to you know bombay bombay once so i'll write bombay delhi to bombay and economic class i used it trip one trip i did it so calculate and add to my footprint after that car now car or car i have to put my mileage of the car my, i i am using the you know swift desire and swift desire its uh, its mileage is almost 14 km and choose a vehicle vehicle we have to choose indian car da database and uh, select manufacturer that is maruti suzuki select model and my model is desire and uh, there is ags that is automatic uh, that is automatic gear or uh, manual gear so it is not an automatic it is a manual so i i'll put it uh, na and then calculate and add to the footprint you have to press this and then go to the motor bikes yeah definitely i have a motor bike also which will gives me a mileage of almost 15 per kilometer and uh, it is yes under 125 cc so let me add it this will also we add it now bus and rails so uh, enter the mileage of the each type of public transport and press the calculate button so yes bus i used bus for bus the you have to just enter the mileage of those who, who which you use so yes i used bus and it has you know almost i think 10 mile 10 km per mileage and similarly uh and taxi i also use it has a similar 12 km per mileage uh, i i have to add then calculate and add it now move towards the secondary this is a one of the very important part see uh, first of all you have to choose your currency you because i am in india i spend money in the terms of you know ina so here the food and the drink products the food and the drink products how much i spend on that per month i am spending you know uh, i am taking it approximately 500 or uh, similarly uh, first of all let me change all these parameter into per month let me change into per month uh, yes all because i am calculating per month everything so let me quickly change every every tab into per month then we will discuss one by one yeah now the second thing is pharmaceuticals on medicines we almost spend 1000 rupees per month so i am taking it 1000 clothes textile and shoes yes near about 1000 again and uh, paper based product like books magazine newspaper yes we have magazine 300 rupees per month and computers and it equipment oh uh, yeah we will we spend almost 500 per month on television yes for a set up box uh, everything internet we spend almost 500 bucks and motor vehicles including fuel not including fuel costs so for servicing it cost me near about 400 rupees per month furniture and other you know manufacturing goods uh, okay furniture for furniture we will take it roughly 500 per month and hotel restaurant and pubs nearly 2000 rupees per month 
and uh, telecom bills yeah it is near about 500 rupees per month banking and finance yes that is near about 2000 insurance yes 300 per month the education yes we spent something that is let us post 1000 per month and recreational and sporting activities yes it that we all also do that is 300 per uh, 3000 per month and estimate the secondary footprint this will give you you know see this is now your total uh, we will see the result now once we click on the result you see you your carbon footprint is 0 0.44 metric tons of co2 and uh, it means you know our footprint is like this it means it is you know as per the world target and the country average uh, uh, you see my footprint is you know much 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 bigger it means uh, i am you know most uh, contributing towards the pollution so your footprint is 0 0.44 metric ton which as is which equates to 5.55 metric tons per year because this is per month so the average footprint of the people in india is 1.73 and my footprint is much much bigger than that the average of the european union is about 6.4 million tons the average of the worldwide carbon footprint is 5 metric tons so you see there are so many uh, it is the footprint carbon footprint for our case is very very you know large so how to now reduce it this is very important so now uh, for our ideas on how to reduce the carbon footprint you can click click over this link now this is the result that you have got the top five cost saving hang out the washing instead of tum tumble drying hanging the uh, washing washing out instead of using a tumble dinner uh, dryer will save about 153 kg co2 per year so it means you know about 52 pounds or 68 us dollar each year so this is this is one thing you can do turn down the heating by one degree celsius reducing your heating by one degree celsius can reduce your energy consumption by eight percent for an average household gas bill of 12.5 kilowatt hour this will reduce your co2 emission by 184 kg so see this these are the you know little bit steps is given to you the top five you know cost saving actions the only file the kettle with the amount of water you need to boil spend less time in the shower turn electrical equipment off and not in use these are the you know some certain concepts if you if you used if you adopt these uh, in your you know daily life definitely you will cut this carbon emission and uh, you know save the earth so this is this is all about and there, there are there are a lot of you know more information is available on this website you can you can read it because uh, i personally thought if everybody you know contributes in in small manner by taking these small small steps definitely we can you know save earth uh, for a future and we can reduce you know this pollution and this is something which I can't, you know, or you can't do it only. We should have to, you know, united ourselves to uh, work against this particular uh, carbon emission and to, you know, reduce this carbon footprint. I hope you like this video. We will come back. Uh, I'll make it, you know, a little bit short only because this is something which I, you know, share the knowledge with you. So we will come back soon with some more innovative tricks like this so that that will help you out. This is just a awareness for you and uh, if we all get you know awake definitely we some uh, uh, on one day definitely this we will uh, reduce this uh, pollution problem. With this hope I will just uh, end this video here and uh, stay tuned with my channel we will come back soon with some more innovative videos. Thank you. Bye bye.